So you, you, you keep the commandments and stuff? You command to keep? As best as I can. Okay, that's all. Right. Yeah. I bet you if you was in church, James, and you was in church, and the pastor was teaching and preaching, you would have had a own with you. Get up, get up. See, that don't I be heard done. You two blocks away. Don't be done. Let me show you what the Bible says. I heard you two blocks Look. away. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. Give me two blocks away. I'm going to show you. Let me show you this in Bible. The knowledge ain't these quote unquote super smart dudes that be talking about Egypt and all that and Brother Polite, the pedophile, and was it Umar? Them ain't no, that's not knowledge. Here go knowledge, read. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge. So guess what? These men in purple right now, you see it. Those are the priests. We are the priests because why? We giving you what's in this Bible. Watch this read. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge, and they shall seek the law at his mouth. Y'all came up here seeking the law at our mouth. Because guess what? We're gonna give you what's in this Bible. Right, right. We're gonna give you what's in this Bible. That's the knowledge. That's the law. That's how we're gonna save our communities. Right. By keeping these commandments. Watch this. Get Matthew 19 and 16. I'm gonna show y'all. Because this is the thing, we gotta keep these commandments. See? Now, I'm going to cut y'all in just a minute. I'm going to show y'all something. And y'all ain't going to like it. Watch it. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, oh, verse 16. You know? And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So he came and walked up. How can I get heaven? How can I get eternal life? Watch this. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, Keep the commandment. You want to get to heaven? You want to get the kingdom? They say what? Do what? Keep the commandments. You got to keep the commandment. Now let me give y'all a commandment. Get Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. You know, women down there, y'all made to breathe. And you got to get air down there in y'all underparts, right? Because that's why you have all these STDs, catfish smells. Urinary tract infection because you made to breathe down there, but in these tight pants and stuff, can't no airflow down there. Watch Dude. this, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Oh. The woman shall not dwell which pertaineth to a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So, you talking about a garment? What is clothes, right? Yeah, so now let me ask you this something. I said, I forgot, so what's your name again? Bella, you got a zip on your pants. What you feel some pull out from that zip? You know, exactly. Because y'all ain't made to wear pants. Right. Pants are for men. Women should wear dresses. You see what I'm saying? You go to the bathroom on the door. You don't see no two pictures of, of people look like they got on pants. That woman's picture look like what? She wearing a dress on a wedding day. What do a woman wear? A dress. Because why? Y'all are made to wear dresses. Because a certain way. And, now, and it don't have to be tight. Nowadays, every day, every woman you see that on what's up. Shut up. You see what I'm saying? Because why? That's we've been taught wrong. We destroy in the brain. You know what I'm saying, sis? So you gotta come out there pain. You gotta get you some dress. Watch it. Get some uh uh first Timothy two and nine. I'm just keeping it simple, sis. I'm just keeping it simple. Right out. Read. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So sis, do you know what the definition of modest is? Dressing modest, modest apparel is something that won't uh, draw sexual attention to yourself. I don't really have Because you can wear a dress and yeah, they can see you your shape, but it ain't supposed to be tight. Because guess what? Since being the F -F -F, most times dude come want to holler at you. What do you want? Pussy. Ah. Say it again, sis. Puss. There you go. See, mama knows she's been around a while. You understand what I'm saying? And you got, and see, she should be in a position to where she should be teaching you something. You see what I'm saying? And see, watch this. Titus 2. Watch this. She know you, sis. Uh, okay, okay, watch this. Read. 
the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 3. The age women likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things. So they should teach y'all good things. Watch this, read. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. So guess what? Y'all got to be taught to love your husband. You got to be taught how to love your children. We see it all the time on Facebook and stuff. Where these young girls and had babies, throw them in the trash, women killing their children, all that stuff. Guess what? Why is, why is abortions, the abortion rate so high in our community? Because our young <laughs> sisters ain't been taught. You know, cause man, you know, sex, everything is sex, 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 right? Well, you know, sex is, the only reason you're supposed to have sex is to make children. It ain't for no pleasure. It ain't for no happy feelings. It's to make children. But the society, the world has taught us what? Get your bang on. Smash and dash. Bust it open. They got a whole new thing. But like COVID time, talking about bust it, baby, bust it. What kind of stuff is that? Hey, what's the uh, uh, free fornication? <laughs> Let's get that all crazy. But you see, this is the thing. That's fornication. You ain't supposed to be fornicating. If you ain't married, you ain't supposed to be having sex. All right. Read. The book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 5. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection. So, see, those things, inordinate affection, that's homosexual. I need fornication. That's you having sex with people you ain't married to. Because, like, okay, sis, I'm, I'm sorry, sis, what's your name? When I'm not in time. All right, sis. When you, when you go, when you get married, right, after you leave the marriage, what you gonna do? After you leave the wedding, what you gonna do? You, and what, you go consummate the marriage. You go to the honeymoon to do what? Get your freak on. You, 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 you consummate the marriage. That's the ceiling of the deal. You know what I'm saying? Because, no, because what? That's now your husband, and that, that's a wife. You see what I'm saying? And you're supposed to do what? Now, God told us go be fruitful and multiply. So now, it's time for us to go do what? Have sex and make babies. Because that's what God tells us to do. All right, y'all be safe out there, sis. Yeah, bro, remember, bloodline, Jesus Christ, tribe of Judah, my guy. And see, we out here, to, that's what we out here to do. To show. Let me look. Okay, well, see, sis, you got to show them. Hold on, you got to show them the right way. You, uh oh, wait a minute. So, what, what you showing? What you showing? Fifth Street. And I'm humble. Fifth Street. You look like you out here, sis. You look like you out here on these streets. Well, you got to stop that. Watch that. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. See, you got to stop that, sis. You got to be a righteous example. Oh, how? You got on pants? You keeping the Sabbath? Yeah, I no, you're not. Cut it out. Where you congregate at? You ain't keeping the Sabbath today. You bought some out that stove? Be righteous. Be righteous, sis. You got to teach the young daughters how to. Uh oh, here we go. What club was that at? That was. Admit that a lot of people don't even realize they. I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You're leaving me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Didn't have to class yet. I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. Sorry, Daddy, we go. Uh, no, uh, the body's a temple. Don't defile your body, I, I, sis. I, 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 I done got beat up before, too. My mama hugged, uh, right, me? Oh, damn. But well, look, but guess what? You got to let that go, sis. I did. You got to let that go. I did. You got to clean yourself up yeah, and get back to keeping these commandments. Read that. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? The Spirit of God dwells in you, sis. Your body is a temple to the Most High God, read. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So with these drugs, alcohol, this sexual, this fornication, 
that's, hey, the most high gonna destroy us, what? With drugs, your OD, all that smoking, it'll give you lung cancer, right. emphysema, it'll poison your body, that sex, you come up with diseases, and all kind of unwanted pregnancies, and all this yeah. drama that come along with baby mama drama and baby daddy debts, all that type of stuff, that's right. why you gotta do right. I got right. And you know what? He gonna pay for that. But you gotta let it go. You gotta let it go, sis. Wait, 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 because what? You a new wait, preacher. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When you no, gotta start keeping no, these commandments, no, no, no. you gotta you gotta start keeping these commandments. And you we can talk all day, but if you ain't keeping these commandments, it ain't gonna matter. I'm mad, cuz oh, yeah, I'm mad. But you know what? Hey, you supposed to be mad. Because what? They try to stop this, but they can't stop it. No. They can't stop it, sis. You know what I say? She trying to come out here and apologize and all that. Hey, little family, when y'all go in that store, come talk to me for a minute. Just one minute. Because we got to teach you something, sis. I got to show you something. Hey, man, brother. You want to keep them commandments? Hey, let me ask you a question, bro. Come right here. Let me ask you a question. Come here. Don't go nowhere. Let me ask you a question. So you, you, you keep the commandments and stuff? You command me keep them? As best as I can. Okay, let me see something. Let's get first Corinthians 11. As best as I can. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. You say as best as you can. What's your name? My name is Jay. 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 Okay, Jay. My yes, name is Boo. I'm going to ask you a question. No, I want to talk to you. I want to ask you a question. Talk to me. Okay, I, no, I, I want to ask you a question. All right, read it. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonor of his head. So he just read that Christ is our head. You said you keep the commandments to the best of your ability. And then the Bible says every man praying or prophesying, when these scriptures coming out, right now you are in the midst of praying and prophesying with the head covered, dishonored his head. So what you gonna do since you keep it to the best of your ability? I didn't understand the question. You didn't understand the question. Do you keep the commandments is the question. I answered that question. Okay, now, do you know right now you're breaking the commandments? How? Yeah. By having that hat on your head. I'm not praying. We, we pray. We prophesy. But see, that's the thing. You do it in the courthouse. You do it in the church. But the right men of God, the prophets, are teaching and preaching. But you don't want to do it now. Right. Because that's why? Right. Stiff neck and rebellious. That's you right. ain't trying to keep the commandments to the best of your ability. That's because right. we just read to you out the Bible that when the praying and prophesying going on with you in the midst of, you supposed to take your hat off. Right. You got your head covered. You dishonoring God. Right. Now, I bet you if you was in church, James. If you were at church and the pastor was teaching and preaching, you wouldn't have that hat on with you. Read up. Read up. Exactly. Exactly. Y'all want to listen to them poke child pastors, but when the prophets really teaching and preaching, uh, y'all right. don't want it. Right. They don't want it right. because they don't really love God. Right. Let me get 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. I'm going to show you the God that you really love. I'm going to show you the Jesus that you really follow. You're about to condemn me. Uh, no, no. I'm, I'm, no, I'm about to show you something. I'm not funny. The, the Bible, the, the words is what's hurting you. I'm reading the Bible. What's it? Read that. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 4. Yeah. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus whom we have not preached, or if he received another spirit. So that other spirit, that other Jesus, that's that, that's that blonde hair, blue eyes that you I listen to. You, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know you was prophesying. Because you've been taught wrong. That's I, what I'm telling you. That's thought, what you've been taught wrong. I thought you was just uh, you witnessing. No, bro, we teaching them. Praying and prophesying, witnessing, all that falls under what yeah, we do. 19, right. You see what I'm saying? Huh? Watch this. I Come on. Come talk to him. Come right here and talk to him. Come right here and talk to him. Which I had showed him. I thought you was just out here witnessing. Come on. And I heard you five blocks hey, away. We out here teaching. We out here teaching. I thought you was witnessing. We, we, we praying and prophesying and teaching. Read that. Or if he yeah. that cometh preacheth another Jesus. So, Jay, he that cometh, that other Jesus, is this white man that we've been told that Jesus. Not, not, not you see me. what I'm saying? Not me. Not, not, not you? Me. No, which, not one you, which one you follow? 
the one that the Bible describes. But when, when the Bible des describes, says that if you out here and we teaching and praying and prophesying and you got your head covered, you are dishonoring him. I didn't and right now, you, my brother, are dishonoring you him. You condemning me. I, I didn't know what you I'm, doing. I'm telling you what you're doing wrong. Get, get Isaiah 58 1. I'm done. You know? See that? Don't I be heard done. You two blocks away. Don't be done. Let me show you what the Bible says. I heard you two blocks Let, away. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. Hear me two blocks away. And I'm gonna show you. Let me show you this and about. I will bring you an offering. Bro, that's all. you know, you know the offering I need you to do. Offer yourself to the will of the Most High God. Right. Hey, that's what bro. I need you to do. That's what I need you to do. I because we need men like you, bro, to get out here and teach our people. And show, come around here. Come around here. Talk to me, bro. I'm not condemning you. I want to show you something you in this Bible. Me. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Yeah. Cry aloud. That's why you heard us two blocks away. Cry aloud. Spare not. That's why you feel like I'm condemning you. I'm not here about your feelings. I'm here to show you. Read. Right. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. James, what is transgression? What is a transgression? When you go against God's will and his way. And right now, that's what you're doing by having that hat on your head, my dude. Right. That's what I'm out here to show you. I'm not here to condemn you. I'm out here to show you. Because right. correction Bring is a way of life for us. Bring it correction, up. I love you, my dude. I want you to get the kingdom. Right. That's why I'm out here to show you what right. you're doing wrong. Now, would you be mad if I told you, go ahead, walk off that cliff? No. My job is to grab you by the arm and say, James, stop walking, bro. You're about to walk off a cliff. Right. That's is what we're doing today. Right. That's what I'm showing you. Bring that up. that hat on your head, you are walking off that cliff, my guy. And that's what I'm out here to show you. Sure. Come around here and talk to me. Sure. Come around here and talk to me. Sure. My hat. Come on. Most heat come out of your head. My hat. Come on, man. My hat. My hat keep me warm. Hey, let me tell you something. God is what's keeping you warm. Right. Ain't no hat keeping you warm. Uh, Ain't no hat uh, keeping you warm. The most high God is the one that's giving you life. The most high. So there you go. So that's the thing, man. Says, put your head back on your head because a woman's supposed to have her head covered. That's right. A woman's supposed to have her head covered, but a man is not supposed to have his head covered. And by having your head covered, bro, you just honor the most high God. Right. And I say, get Amos 3 and 3. And if, three, if two can't agree, kick rocks. Right. If you don't agree with this Bible, if you don't agree with these commandments, kick rocks. We ain't got nothing for you because we're going to do what God tells us to do. Right. And God tells us to go out. To the highways and head go, you know what? Hold that, go to Luke 14, 23. Right out. Because we're going to do what God tells us to do. I don't care about your feelings. I don't care about if you think I condemned you. All I care about is doing what God tells me to do. And that's what matters. All right. And if you got a problem with that, kick rocks. We'll let him get Hey, I'm just seeing hey, you watching the video. The Listen, go ahead and so press that subscribe button. I U I C Mississippi Burn. Press the button. So watch this. So 13. Nation is men leading by example.